What are you doing? Taking pictures of looks for our Facebook yard sale page. This is the winter Christmas lot. Where are these things going? These things are going to um, a couple, a married couple. Right here? Uh, well, not Soon to be married. married and they will be married. Not married yet. <laughs> Almost. Almost. We're robbing them for everything they own. We love it. We're taking everything. It's exciting. I've never been so excited to like get rid of stuff. <laughs> so today what I'm thinking about is um I'm thinking about the relationship change that we're forcing upon Maisie. I asked uh, Amanda Bria who used to babysit Maisie when I used to work at the church still and that turned into her wanting to babysit her the whole day. I said, sure, it allows me to get some stuff done. But when we told Maisie last night that she was gonna go to Amanda's, she was super excited. Last night when she had her time to read, like book time, all she wanted to do was look at a book that had pictures of Silas and Lucy, Amanda's kids. Um, and then today, like she was just ready to go, man. She loved it. And when I went to pick her up, she cried. She hugged Amanda. She was all about Silas. He's the same age as her. Um, and yeah, I think I've been thinking about that since I picked her up. It's for Beth and me, you know, it's hard saying goodbye to people that we love. We can process our own emotions, but the fact that we're forcing this on to little Maisie, and again, she's one and a half, I get it. Like, it's not that big of a deal, but I don't know. It just hurts a little more. It stings in a different way. Um, um, knowing that that relationship's gonna, gonna separate is, is making me a little bit sad today. Our lamp is leaving. On Saturday, we um, we Skyped called with um, some missionary acquaintances of ours, um, college friend and um, her husband. And they're missionaries in the Philippines and they're doing um, coffee shop ministry and they're heading to the Middle East pretty soon. Um, but one thing that her husband said was that God makes us look better than we really are. Uh, and I thought that was so true, and then it got me thinking about uh, the people in the Bible who um, were considered weak. God hailed them as mighty warriors and told them to get out there and do it. Then today at school, we had a chapel speaker come and he talked about the same thing. He talked about how God uses the foolish things of the world to shame the wise, and he uses the weak things of the world. So we just have to be, have a willing heart that's open and God's gonna make us look a lot better than we really are um, because he gets the glory anyways. And so I was thinking about that in our our own personal journey of ministry and missions and who we are and I think of myself as a weak person. I think of myself as the person who needs confidence, who needs to be lifted up, but I wanna always say, here I am Lord, just use me. I just think that's so cool and I've been really encouraged by that lately and I hope you are too. So this morning we had a gem uh, appointee call with Bev and Tom Hawkins and they are the field France leaders. And today we talked about um, John 14 and uh, discipleship and remaining in Jesus. It reminded me of just how much I need to sit and relax with Jesus. Um, I get so hurried and I don't center myself often enough. Um, to gain perspective. So I think that's a goal for me to spend some quiet time sitting, thinking, praying, reading. I think that's gonna be my goal um, so that we can, I can have that habit more solidified when we get to France. So as we finish this week, I find myself um, both feeling excited about all the things that we were able to get done, um, knowing some of the things that we will accomplish this weekend, painting the walls, getting stuff sold, trying to get rid of stuff, but um, I don't know, that, that sadness of, of leaving Madison starts to creep in as well. On one hand, I'm glad that I don't have to uh, be at a church somewhere. You know, it's the first time in 10 years, really, that I haven't had to be somewhere leading Good Friday services and Easter Sunday services. It's typically a really, really busy time, and I'm able to reflect and to rest, and I've really enjoyed that. Um, Madison is an amazing city. Just to, to take an, 
a nice stroll in when it's warmer out and the weather has kind of taken a turn for the better side last couple days so makes me uh, makes me want to soak up as much time here as I can. That's it for now. We'll see you next week.